Hello everyone, this is Nancy from Japan Galaxy Summary of Mr. Mouse Schools Live on April 21st. Number 1. Within territories inside of the 5th Ring Road and between the 6th and 7th Ring Roads in Beijing, a large number of armed police has been deployed. It could be a prelude to the large-scale quarantine in Beijing. Number 2. Shanghai's lockdown is about to be lifted. But the CCP will for sure hold those who have leaked information to outside for reprisal or retaliation. The CCP's so-called clean internet and search internet is related to April 19th special broadcast, which has a huge impact inside of the CCP China. But three, U.S. House Speaker Nancy Pelosi will visit Taiwan on April 26. Number four, this time the U.S. totally ignored the grave concerns of the CCP. April 26 will be a watershed moment for China-U.S. relations. April 26 to May 6 is an important period for Taiwan. The CCP will take action. Number five, Russia suffers heavy losses in Ukraine. Putin releases conciliatory signals to Europe and the U.S. Number six, there are three dilemmas for Xi Jinping. One, China's economy has collapsed already. Two, under zero COVID policy social stress limit test, the political struggle within the CCP is approaching its limit. Three, the CCP is isolated by world politics. She believes that the key solution to all problems is to take Taiwan. Number seven, the April 26 to May 6 period is the watershed moment of the world. Inside CCP, she has all crises. The economic collapse needs to find a solution. He has nothing to show for the 20th Party Congress, which means the end of Xi's rule in CCP. At Nancy Pelosi's Taiwan visit, then President Biden may visit Taiwan later. Taiwan may declare independence, which is more unfavorable to Xi. He has no other way to go except invading Taiwan. Number 8. If Putin reaches a settlement or gave up his war in mid to late June, we, the new feathers of China, may not retreat from Medica or even purchase property in Medica, Poland and set up the first new Federal State of China embassy in Poland or even go directly to Kyiv to establish a new Federal State of China embassy in Ukraine.